We are here at the roof of our Greek Melkite Catholic Patriarchate of Jerusalem. On behalf of our Archbishop, Monsignor Yasser El Ayash, Patriarchal Vicar of Jerusalem, who delegated me to speak to you, I welcome you to our Patriarchate. From this roof, we have a splendid view of the old city of Jerusalem. On, on the left, your left, we see the great dome of the Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre, holy place where Jesus was crucified on the cross and, and, the, and the tomb of Christ from where Jesus Christ was resurrected. In front of us, we see the Mount of Olives, holy place from which Jesus ascended into heaven. The golden dome in front of us is the mosque of the rock. Many pilgrims coming in our patriarchate like to come here, especially in the morning, around six o'clock in the morning, <laughs> to, to enjoy the sunrise and to pray while contemplating the church of the Holy Sepulchre and the Mount of Olives. There are splendid views that help to contemplate Jesus on the cross, risen and his ascension to heaven. Personally, personally, I can't get enough of this beautiful view of Jerusalem. Every day, every day, every day. <laughs> In the evening, especially the summer, Many of the pilgrims staying at our pilgrims' house like to spend some time on our roof to enjoy the coolness of the evening. Our Greek Melkite Catholic Patriarchate, its construction, this is a grace for our Greek Melkite Catholic Church all over the world. Syria, Lebanon, uh, Egypt, uh, Canada, uh, Mexico, uh, Venezuela, Brazil, Argentina, and the uh, United States, of course, and many parishes in uh, Europe, France, Italy, and uh, London. From Damascus, the honorary seat of the Patriarchate of Antioch, Peter Cyril VI. Tanas, surrounded by its synod, they all united with the Catholic Church in 1724. 1724, we began, we entered in the Catholic Church. We were Orthodox before. Many families in Syria and Lebanon joined this church. Many families from Galilee also joined this Greek Melkite Catholic Church. In 1836, Petr Maximus III, Muslim, instructed Mr. Antoine Ayoub, president of the Greek Catholic community of Jerusalem, to acquire a piece of land to build a Greek Catholic cathedral and a patriarchal vicariate. A piece of land, where we are now, was then bought, and this is how the construction of this beautiful cathedral began in 1844. And Our Lady of Annunciation was inaugurated in 1848. This building includes the church and a residence for the patriarchal vicar and the priests who serve the parish, as well as rooms for parish activities. During the time of the patriarchal vicar, Monsignor Elijah Capucci, the walls of the church were adorned with many beautiful frescoes, representing several stages in the life of our Lord and several Eastern saints. Those were painted by two Romanian painters, Michel and Gabriel Moroshan, in 1973. The current building 
was extended with the construction of 48 rooms with one, two or three beds that can accommodate 95 pilgrims, 95 pilgrims, as well a large kitchen and a large dining room provide meals for these pilgrims. The beautiful reception at the entrance leads to a big living room as well as the reception and conference rooms. The Patriarchate of Jerusalem serves eight churches, including seven parishes, the Cathedral of Jerusalem and the church in Beth Hanina. Six other churches and parishes are in Bethlehem, in Beth Sahur, Taibe, Ramallah, Naples, and Jaffa. All are served by celibate or married priests. Our faithful community consists of around 3,700 people. Unfortunately, many have emigrated due to the wars which took place and due to the political and economic situation. We own only a few apartments and shops which we rent out, but the income is very meager compared to the needs of the diocese and the schools. The diocese also runs two schools and one and a kindergarten. A school in Ramallah and a school in Beth Sahur with all the grades from kindergarten to baccalaureate. And a small kindergarten in Jerusalem at Beth Hanina. Our school in Beth Sahur near Bethlehem suffers every year from a large deficit because the tuitions are low and we cannot increase it given the economic situation of the families. This is why the Patriarchate must const constantly knock on the doors of charitable, charitable institutions and benefactors to fill the deficit gap. Our pilgrim's house in Jerusalem is a main source of income for di the diocese. The income of the parishes being very meager, the pilgrim's house supports most of the needs of the diocese and the schools. Salaries of the bishops, priests and deacons, deficit of the schools, repairs in the various churches. Unfortunately, our patriarchate of Jerusalem has been strongly affected by COVID, which caused a decrease in pilgrims at the pilgrim's house but continuous maintenance is needed in this guest house. Building repairs, serious repairs in the kitchen, in the pilgrim's dining room, repairs in several rooms, in the bathrooms, and air conditioning units must be changed. We must safeguard the good reputation of our pilgrim's guest house so that it is on the same level as the other hostels around us. Our pilgrim house is frequented by German French, Belgian, Swiss, Australian, American, English, Irish, Italian, Spanish, Korean, Vietnamese, Russian, Ukrainians, and Polish pilgrims. Perhaps sometimes some Mexicans. <laughs> These material needs for the patriarchate, the churches and the schools. These material needs of the, for the patriarchate, the church and the needs, preoccupy the bishop in charge, my lords, who must constantly knock on the doors of benefactors. Terrible. While the primary duty of a bishops and priests is prayer. Our primary duty of bishops and priests is prayer to announce Jesus Christ and to offer the sacraments, to visit families and to help the poor. On the other hand, the economic, social and political problems are a continual temptation for our faithful community to emigrate. Soon the Holy Land will be devoid of the presence of Christians. This is why our role is also to encourage 
our faithful community not to emigrate by giving them good service in our schools and our parishes and if possible by building accommodation for them. From Jerusalem, the holy city, witness of, to the work of salvation, we continually pray for the benefactors of our Patriarchate of Jerusalem. May God fill them with His graces and turn their generosity a hundredfold. And we bless you all in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.